we're gonna hope that I can get the nerves under control because if I'm not nervous, sis, if I'm not nervous, I know what I'm doing, okay? Send help, it's only day one. I'm, wow, I'm really proud of myself. I feel like that shows growth. I'm growing, I'm gaining confidence. I'm so tired. It's only day two. To another vloggy blog, vloggy blog, vloggy blog. Yeah. If you're new around here, let me introduce myself. Hello, my name is Tay. I am a second year medical student. I am a second year medical student. Okay. I am a second year medical student at UCLA as of today. Oh, I am documenting this journey to the MD. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop and join our fam. Y'all, it is the first day of block six. It is the first day of year two. Where did the time go? Where did the time go? Year one is in the books, it's over, and it is time to move on and I guess actually really learn some things. I feel like I learned a lot last year, but now it's like really time to learn these things. So it is about 8.20 in the morning. I've been up since 7.15. We had an intro to block six lecture at 7.30 where they just answered some questions. This block is bugs and drugs, which is microbiology, infectious disease. We have to learn all of the viruses, bacteria, all the drugs to... <laughs> it's gonna be a long block, it's nine weeks, so you and me, we're in this for the long haul, okay? So this block is supposed to be held in person for the first time ever for me in my med school experience. I have yet to have lectures in person, but of course they just told us in the intro lecture that this week we're gonna start off online and then they're just gonna see what we're gonna do next week. I am praying that we go in person because I don't even know what the lecture hall looks like at my medical school and I like to go in. I would go in a little bit. I don't know anyone still. So I'm really hoping that next week we're allowed to go in in person for lectures, but doctoring is in person. So that's the class where we interview mock patients, which I am freaking out about. And of course your girl has her first interview tomorrow. How am I first? How am I first? How did that happen to me? Last name, it's always the last name. So we have a lot to do this week. Austin is gone. It's just me going about my med school life alone. So I'm trying to run out these gates fast. What is? What is that saying? Break out the gates? Bust out the gates? I'm trying to start off strong, okay? So today is a packed day. We had that intro lecture. We're on a quick break right now. And then we have two more lectures before PBL because PBL is now at 10 a.m. And then I have a lecture after PBL. So we've got a lot to do. We're at home though. So let's sit down. I'm gonna make a green, some beam greens, and then we'll get started. Let's go, y'all. Let's do it. Block six, year two. Let's learn. Let's learn. y'all just finished two hours two and a half hours of lectures um we had a lecture on the introduction to infectious disease and then introduction to viruses great lectures i actually really learned a lot and everything made sense i mean it's just day one but everything made sense so 
that's always a good sign. And now I have PBL. So if you've been following me for a while, you know PBL is usually Monday, Friday, 8 a.m. This block is at 10 a.m., which you know what? Not mad at it at all, except for the fact that I just sat through two hours of lecture and now I have to sit through two hours of PBL. So small group learning, I'm gonna go meet my group and we're gonna go through two patient cases and we'll see how it goes. All right, I'll see y'all on the other side. All right, y'all, PBL just ended. It was actually really good. I have my PBL instructor that I had, I think, for block three. Really liked him. We've got a good group. So now I have a quick break. It's about five minutes before our last lecture of the day starts. Today, they just packed it in back to back to back to back. Like, it was so unnecessary. Let me show you. Look at this. It's day one, and we started at 7.30 and we're going all the way down to one. Goodness. So in this five minutes that I have, I'm gonna stand up, stretch, but then I'm also going to take my notes that I typed out from lecture this morning and put it into Anki cards really quick. I've found that taking notes directly into Anki can sometimes make me more focused on correctly formatting the Anki card than actually understanding what's happening. So I found that just taking an extra five to 10 minutes after each lecture to put it into Anki from notes that I was taking during lecture is super helpful. And I have all the images there that I need. So I'm just gonna transfer that information over and uh, we'll be good to go. Our last lecture is just on welcome to the second year PBL policy review, etc. So it's not something I really need to pay attention in. There's not really information there that I'm gonna be tested on, but Still wanna make sure that I have all of the info about what is to come this year. All right, so that's what we got going on and then we're done. I'm so tired. Maybe I'll take a nap. I'm either gonna nap or go to the gym. That's it. And um, then we'll study. Oh my God, we're back to studying. All right, let's put this in PBL. No. That's where my brain is at. Let's put this in PBL. What does that even mean? Let's put this in Anki is what I meant to say. <laughs> Send help, it's only day one. Okay, let's go. All right, y'all, you know the deal. Before we get into studying, I wanna let you know that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you don't know much about Skillshare, let me tell you because it is awesome. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. It's a place where you can explore new skills, deepen passions, and just get lost in creativity. They have classes from photography to illustration to iPad drawing. And because it's a learning platform, there's also no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. I will talk about this iPad illustration class by Robert Jenneret III until I am blue in the face. Y'all know that I love drawing out notes on my iPad and this class has really taken my notes to the next level. Robert has been an amazing teacher and the proof is in the pudding. So if you wanna give Skillshare a try, they were so kind to give us a special link, which I'll put in the description. And the first 1,000 people to click this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So click that link in the description and let me know if you have any questions. All right, let's get into studying. y'all right, lectures are officially done for the day so i finished putting in all of my stuff into anki so those are ready to go tomorrow is when we will start doing anki cards now i'm going to take a minute to prep my dinner for tonight in the crock pot i got a crock okay so loud i got a crock pot which i'm super excited about and i'm going to make some turkey chili so i made this cute little recipe sheet i don't know if you can see it to try to organize my recipes because over the summer I really got into cooking because I started watching Hell's Kitchen and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna prep my dinner so that it's super easy later on and I don't have to spend much time doing anything. And then we might go to the gym. I'm kind of tired. I might just go for a little bit and then we'll come back and uh, do some work. All right, I'm home from the gym. I just did a fun leg day rocking Gymshark, of course, on top, on bottom, look. Don't look at my house, but look at the fit. 
Mm. Whole outfit is Gymshark. It will be linked in the description below. This is the best. This is the best athletic wear. If you're trying to be cute while you work out, Gymshark baby. Gymshark, linked, linked in the description. So I'm home now. It's time for me to eat some dinner, which I have been cooking in my crock pot. We're making some turkey chili. Ooh, and some cornbread, which I'm gonna get in the oven. So I'm gonna take a shower while this finishes cooking and while the cornbread is cooking and then we will finally sit down and eat, watch a little TV and then the rest of the night we will attempt to learn how to do a physical exam. Cause that's what I have to do tomorrow on a live standardized patient in doctoring. Send help. Let's get it on y'all, let's get it on. It's a great productive start to our Monday. Let's keep it going. Let's go. I think it's time for me to turn in. This is what I literally do before clinical skills. Anything where I have to do physical exams on patients, I get dressed as if I'm doing it. I wear my stethoscope, I have my pen light. Oh, sorry, sorry. And I go through all of the maneuvers either in air or on Austin, but Austin's not here. So today it was just talking to myself for the past two hours, walking through what I would say, what I might do. Um, the videos were super helpful. They gave us two videos on how to do a trauma-informed physical exam, which is super important for adolescents, which is the patient that I will be doing a physical exam on tomorrow. This is all the stuff from last year coming back. And I'm glad, you know what? I'm glad I learned it all last year because I would be so screwed if I was starting from scratch. So it's late now though, so I think I should go to sleep. There's a lecture at nine, which I do wanna go to live. Um, they do have, I think two videos, or like 10 minutes each that we need to watch before lecture. Ow. So I'm probably gonna get in bed and watch those videos and then head to sleep and we will start Tuesday. <sighs> Send good vibes for this uh, physical exam. Normally the physical exams go fine, but normally I'm just in there with the patient and that's it. But since this is in doctoring class, I will be doing it in front of my doctoring peers. And that is scary to me. Whenever I'm doing it in front of an audience, it just feels so performative and it just gives me anxiety. So we're gonna hope that I can get the nerves under control because if I'm not nervous, sis, if I'm not nervous, I know what I'm doing, okay? So that's the plan. <sighs> All right, y'all, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, uh, it's early, it's 8.55, but I'm awake, I'm here, <sighs> ready to go to lecture. We have three lectures this morning. Ophthalmology is first, and then we have two lectures on viruses. So I don't wanna get behind, especially since I have a long doctoring session this afternoon. It's very unlikely that I'd wanna come home and stream lectures. So we're gonna get them out of the way now, as tired as I may be. Got my beam super greens here that I'll be sipping on as we listen. So let's learn. Okay, the lectures are over. I'm so tired. And they didn't really make any sense. <laughs> so that's great. It's 
great. But at least I went and listened. So it is about noon now. Doctoring starts at 1.30. I'm gonna leave my house at one just so that I'm not late. I'm probably gonna lay down just to like rest for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna run through the parts of the physical exam that I'm gonna do today. I guess we're just gonna, we're gonna go for it and um, make sure I at least feel okay going into it. I'm so nervous, but I am not even, I'm so tired, I can't even feel nervous. So I'll see you. Probably once I get to campus because I'm just gonna put on my white coat again and walk around the house and talk to myself through the physical exam. So not much to see. The patient we know is a 16 year old presenting with a cough, but that's also just presenting for a sports physical, those pre-participation physicals that you get. So I'm doing the physical exam. I don't really know what to expect. They didn't give us much direction, which is, as y'all know, I like to know what I'm doing. So a little frustrating, but we're gonna do our best and take it as a learning experience. So catch y'all in a bit. Oh. All right, y'all, I am back home. It is about 8 p.m. right now. I finished my patient interview. That class ended around five. Then I just relaxed for a little bit. I'm so tired, but I have so much to do today. Oh, I still haven't even eaten. So the patient interview actually went really well. I was doing the physical exam portion. I had no idea what I was really doing. I just did my best, but I wasn't nervous and y'all know me, you know me, I get nervous about these things, especially when it's, sorry, I had to adjust the focus, but y'all know me, I get nervous about things. I really don't like to do any sort of patient interaction when there's an audience. I just feel like it's so unnatural and uncomfortable. And the way that this room was set up, it's literally like a seminar room, table in the middle, all the chairs around. And then at the front of the room is an exam table and a sink and a chair. So kind of like a mock doctor's office in the classroom. And so all of my classmates are just sitting around the round table, staring at me up at the front doing the physical exam. So it's a big deal that I wasn't nervous today and that I actually felt Good. I was able to just block out everyone else and focus on the patient. I'm, wow, I'm really proud of myself. I feel like that shows growth. I'm growing, I'm gaining confidence in my skill set, even though I was a little bit unsure about what exactly went into the physical exam. So it's done, it's done, but alas, that is just one of the many things that I need to do. So today's agenda, now that I'm home, I need to eat, that's number one. We're gonna eat some dinner. We're gonna eat the same dinner that I had yesterday, some leftovers. I need to do my Anki cards. I don't have that many, there's like 20 cards, so I need to knock those out. I need to write up um, a soap note, which is basically a progress note for the encounter that we had today. So we're gonna go over the history of present illness, the chief complaint, the physical exam findings, and then our assessment and plan and all of the histories that we took. So I need to write that up, that's due tomorrow. I need to do PBL, I just need to knock it out. That's not due till Thursday, but I just, I want it to be done. And then I need to prep for, we have an ophthalmology lab tomorrow for four hours. It's like a mix of clinical skills and lab, so I need to prep for that. And I need to edit the YouTube video that's gonna go up. And it's 8 p.m. It's only day two. It's only day two. <sighs> okay, one thing at a time. I got this. I'm ready for this. We're gonna take this one thing at a time. All right, let's go. The night is still young. All right, cue the study montage.
sleep. Still need to do my PBL learning issue, but that is a fight for another day because I'm tired. So I'm gonna get to sleep right now. I'm gonna get up for lecture that's at 10. So I really need this sleep. I have yet to get a good night's sleep. I mean, it's only day two and I'm, I'm just exhausted, okay? I'm exhausted. I took a 12 minute nap today before doctoring and it was the best 12 minutes of the day. So I'm gonna head to sleep. I will check in with y'all in the morning when I'm up for lecture. We've got two lectures tomorrow, one on herpes viruses and one on HPV, adenovirus and arboviruses. Oh, and the guy I like is lecturing tomorrow. Okay, it's gonna be a good day. So I will see you in the morning. I think this was a pretty productive Tuesday. It's been a really long day, but I am proud of myself for pushing through and getting stuff done even though I am exhausted. So if I can do it, so can you, okay? Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. actually good afternoon now it is 12.05 p.m. I just got done with two hours of lecture <sighs> my brain is mush we went through herpes viruses oh there's so many viruses um, but the lectures were actually pretty good I understood what was being said it was just a lot of information so today we have to do Anki cards to make sure that this information is sticking in the brain so now I have the shortest break, I have class at 1 p.m. on campus. We have an ophthalmology lab um, where we're gonna be going through different cases and I guess learning how to do an eye exam with clinical skills. I need to find my little eye thing. I don't know, it's ophthalmoscope. Let's do it, y'all. I will see you when I am on campus. Hey, y'all, I am home from ophthalmology. Ugh, it was actually pretty good, but it was long. It was long, but it was so nice to see people in person. So now, I just got home, it's about five. I just went straight home. I didn't even have the energy to keep talking to people after class. And I'm just gonna relax for maybe like an hour and then we gotta get back to work. I gotta do PBL today and some Anki cards. So I'm not as tired as I was the other two days. We got a little bit more sleep but I'm still tired and I need this like recoup time. And I'm not gonna work out today. I wanna rest my knee. I kind of think I heard it because I was running too much but so we'll give it a rest so that I cannot be injured. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna watch some Netflix. Watch a little Manifest, if you know, you know. And I have my chicken tortilla soup in the crock pot. It's ready whenever I want it, just how I like it. So yeah, let's chill for a little bit and then let's get to work. Two hours later. Y'all. <laughs> I literally fell asleep on the couch. I'm so tired. I'm thinking we might just need to call it a night if I can't even stay awake during the day. I think having six hours of class today was a little much for me and my, my little brain. Luckily tomorrow I have the afternoon to study. It's scheduled independent study time, which is so helpful for me. But I'm actually hosting a little game night on Friday at my house to get to know some of my classmates better so we can just hang out and, and have a chill, fun night. So I need to prep for that. There's a lot to do, but it all starts with sleep. So I think I'm gonna head to sleep. Tomorrow lecture is the only med school that is scheduled. Okay. I can do that, I can do that. Just remember to take care of yourselves, okay? Like, we see people going 110%, 24-7 on the internet, or they're just not showing when they're taking a break. Take the break, okay? You do not wanna be burnt out. Your mental health matters. Your physical health matters. I haven't been to the gym in so long, so make sure you're taking care of yourself. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna get in bed, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? I'm talking to you like you're here, okay? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? But really, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, good night, y'all. Yo, 
y'all. Hello, hello. It is Friday now. Sorry that I didn't vlog much yesterday. Actually, if at all, I think I just showed you me getting up for a lecture and that was it. And that's because that's all I did. Yesterday I had a free afternoon, so I just spent the afternoon cleaning my apartment. I still have so much more to do because I'm hosting a game night tonight, <laughs> which I'm so excited about, but that means my apartment needs to be spotless. It needs to be spotless and I need to be prepared. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today. I won't be studying much. I did wake up for PBL. I presented my learning issue really quick. It was super chill. We only took like 45 minutes in PBL, so. There wasn't much to show there and I literally took the call in bed. So on my to-do list, I'm gonna head to Costco and um, where else am I going? And somewhere else to get a few more materials and food for my game night and then I'm just gonna come home and finish cleaning my house. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, I totally forgot to close out this vlog, but thank you for joining me in my first week as a second year med student. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It was a long week. I was tired. I was stressed and uh, we've got like eight weeks to go. So get ready for this journey. Let's hope I can make it through. The game night was super fun. Um, I didn't record any of it just because, you know, I don't want to be that person. Um, but there might be a picture or a video that I'll put somewhere that you can kind of see what the vibe is when I host a game night. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. All right, bye y'all.